Hi, I'm Alex Schwartzberg. Camels, why are we here? We are here to learn. We are here to be exposed to new things. We are here to live with one another and forge friendships that will last a lifetime. <coughs> now, I'm sure most of you in this room are socially savvy and know how friends are made. Athletes make friends with their teams, musicians make friends with other musicians, and by observing similarities among one another, we make friends. That's how friendship works. With such a diverse campus, we have many different things going on all the time. Nobody hears about them, though, because athletes talk to athletes, musicians talk to musicians, bookworms talk to bookworms, actors to actors, and so on. My hope is that through this speech, I will inspire you to enjoy yourselves more and, take, and will take my example and encourage others to enjoy themselves as well by branching out and broadening your peer groups. I've spent the last year or so pondering this question. What is the point of it all? Why do we get up for 8 a.m. chem classes or work, or work till 4 a.m. writing papers? We are afraid. Afraid of failure. Afraid of rejection. And worst of all, we are afraid of embarrassment. As camels, our sole purpose as a community must be to have fun. Fun and marketing go hand in hand. Google has grown into a multi-billion dollar industry because it is a fun place to work. Fun and fun alone gets results. Con is not a fun place. It is occasionally a fun place, but it is not always a fun place. Fun happens where new things emerge. Now, we do have cool and unique things happening at Con all the time, but it all looks like more and more of the same old crap. We all think that going to that concert in Coffee Grounds or that Zoomathon in Crow's Nest will suck because no one will be there, which is really to say that no one we know will be there. And that is the fault of both how we are as a campus and how we market and promote our events. SAC cannot just send out an email and expect people to show up. Why? The answer should be blatantly obvious. As college students, we have shit to do, and we don't read emails if we don't have to. People don't want information. They want understanding. People don't want to know about the events that are going on. They want to understand that if they go to an event, that they'll have a good time. They want to be led there by their friends, by their leader. At their core, beneath all their conscious hardware, people want to know that you are their friend, that you will be at the event, and that you will, have, will give them a good time when they are there, spending time with you. Emails and flyers don't cut it. Club and varsity teams should be out there rallying the crowd for their games. Bands should be out there fundraising and promoting their own events. SAC should be providing incentives for them to, to do so and creating incentives for students to go. The basic model, you get the ball rolling, we'll keep the momentum sustained. Fisteria is a horrible medical condition. And while I have readily donated to help its victims, I find it appalling that the only person to have knocked on my door for a cause was doing so to help people on the other side of the world. I understand that the world is a big place with real problems, but we only get college once, and we should do our best as a community to have a good time. Having a concert in coffee grounds and a big game down at the AC is a strong selling point to prospective students. But for us, too many events too far away from each other only serves to divide the community that is already here. Think back to that hockey game against Coast Guard in February. We were united as a campus. We were hostile. That's how we should feel all the time. Part of a whole. Strong as a community. We need to build a face-to-face -face network of student promoters to get people pumped for events. SAC should organize meetings and recruit students to promote campus activities. SAC should create non-elected committees to brainstorm ideas for fun, systematically involve the campus, and rally the population towards the better time to be had as part of the group. As students, we work very hard, but our efforts are misguided. We compete with others for the highest GPA, or to be the strongest man on the team. But in the long run, we're all dead, so we might as well just enjoy the time that we have together. In our modern age of electronic distractions and continual partial attention, it has gotten harder and harder to get people to come out and play. Like all industries in our world, we have to put in 80% to get our 20% back. 20% from 10 people is, is 200% though, and fun is not transferred from one person to the next in a transaction. It is shared by its participants. Camels, give me a blender, I'll open a juice bar. Give me kegs, and I will throw you a party. Give me a point upon which to stand and a lever long enough and I'll lift the world. Are you catching my drift here? Give me three cooperative, outgoing, and friendly people to work with and I will transform this campus. A favorite poem of mine. I'd rather be handsome than homely. I'd rather be youthful than old. 
If I can't get, have a bushel of silver, I'll do with a barrel of gold. I'd rather be laughing than crying. I'd rather have fun than get high. Sitting in television are boring. I'm simply wasting my time. I want to be a team player, but fear they'll leave me behind. But if I can give something back, I think they'll keep me in mind. Don't be yourself. Be better than yourself. I'll be there to help you. Will you be there to help me? Vote Alex Schwartzberg for SACREP, class of 2012. Thank you. <laughs>